Will Lewis Hamilton build on this massive high from Hockenheim? Will Sebastian Vettel be able to pick himself up after that disastrous mistake? And for this weekend, are Red Bull set to dominate? Find out in today's video. So here we are this weekend in Budapest for the Hungarian Grand Prix. Just a week after that great race back in Germany. But before we properly get into this preview for the Grand Prix, let's go through some stats about the circuit first. The race will be ran over 70 laps at the 4.3 km track. The first time we came to Hungary was back in 1986 and the lap record is a 119 flat, which was set back in 2004 by Michael Schumacher in the Ferrari. But with the way things have been going this season, of course this is going to be broken. And the last time we came here one year ago, it was a dominant Ferrari 1-2. As last year, the Ferrari car was just way too good overall. As the two Mercedes struggled that day because the car simply is not suited to this circuit. Which is what allowed Sebastian Vettel to go on to win the race. But how will the top three teams do this weekend? Let's take a look. Despite Mercedes getting a 1-2 finish at Hockenheim, they are going to come crashing back down to earth in Hungary. Because out of all the tracks on the calendar, this is one of their worst tracks. As it is very similar to a street circuit, which of course Mercedes do struggle on. But they do have Lewis Hamilton in the car, who is very, very good at this track. As since 2007, he has five race wins at this track. But with the way this car is around this type of circuit, I just do not see how Hamilton is going to win the race. So do not be surprised if the Silver Arrow struggle. Hockenheim turned into a nightmare for both Ferrari and Sebastian Vettel. They were comfortably leading the race until Vettel made that key mistake. Putting the Ferrari team on a downer, but that is not the only thing that is causing that. Because in the last couple days, we have had the sad news that Sergio Marchioni has passed away. Now in terms of the pace of the car, they should at least be the second fastest. Of course, right now they do have a very powerful power unit and good aerodynamics. But with everything that is going on at the moment and the pace of the Red Bull around this type of track, I don't see them winning. I definitely think they'll get a podium, but again, I just don't see how they're going to win. But of course, if they were to win the race, it would be a great tribute to Sergio Marchioni. So from that point of view, it would be fitting if Ferrari did win. After two quiet and mediocre races, this weekend Red Bull should be back. As this circuit plays exactly into the strengths of the Red Bull car. Especially in the second and third sector which is all about the corners. And whether it's a high speed or slow speed corner, the Red Bull is the best in the corners full stop. So considering all of that, I do make Red Bull the favourites for this weekend's race. And I'd be very shocked if they did not win this race because if they can win at Monaco, then why can't they win here? So if you're going to put money on anyone this weekend, you would have to put it on Red Bull. And of course, at the previous race, the Drivers' Championship positions changed all around again. As Lewis Hamilton has retook the lead of the World Championship by 17 points from Sebastian Vettel. With P3 being Kimi Raikkonen, with Valtteri Bottas not that far behind in P4. As there's only one point separating the two Red Bull drivers. And just like the German Grand Prix, after this race in Hungary, I do think it's going to change around again. Because for the last few races, the positions are constantly changing around. But now let's focus on who is going to be best of the rest in that midfield battle. Even though last year McLaren were very quick at this track, I do not see them being quick this weekend. Because this car in terms of performance is constantly dropping off and is not getting any better. The only real plus is that Fernando Alonso is very good at this track, so maybe he can get a good result. But realistically for McLaren, I don't see a good result for the team. Renault got a very important 10 points from Germany as they head into this race where they should be good. Because at the high aero tracks we've been to this season, the Renault does tend to work well. And of course, this track will reduce any power advantage that another team has which is a big helping hand for Renault in their massive fight with Haas in the Constructors. And I expect both cars to be picking up some solid points. In terms of scoring points, the race in Germany was a very good one for Force India. But going into this race, the team is not exactly on a high, with a lot of rumours about the future of the team. Rumours about Lance Stroll's dad potentially buying the team or even the team going into administration. And in terms of pace, I'm afraid that the news is not going to get any better this weekend. Because since the Force India team started, they have never been good at this track. 
Now, yes, at Monaco they were good, which of course is a high downforce track, but I don't see that happening this weekend. Because since that race, the Force India team is just dropping down the pecking order. And there's nothing really they can do about that because that's basically down to the lack of cash they have. And I think this race will be pointless. Is there really any point in talking about Williams? I think we all know what is going to happen this weekend. After struggling in the last few races, this track presents an opportunity for Toro Rosso. Because in the past, they have gone well in Hungary as last year they finished in P7. And as long as they don't have to take any engine penalties, I do think Toro Rosso are going to be surprisingly quick. Maybe not getting into Q3, but in the race, I would not be surprised if one of their cars are in the points. So we should not count out Toro Rosso. The pace of the Haas car in the last few races has been absolutely fantastic, but I don't think it will be good this weekend. Because this car tends to go better at more power dominant circuits, which the Hungaro ring is not. And the last time we went to a high downforce track in Monaco, they were so bad. Now yes, of course, they have made some upgrades to the car, but I don't see them being best of the rest. Don't get me wrong, they're still going to be up there in that battle, but I don't think they'll be on the fourth row. Hopefully, though, they don't blow any points like they did back in Germany. And in a similar fashion to Haas, I don't expect Sauber to be quick either, because their car also is very good at those power-dominant circuits. But as we found out with Charles Leclerc in the car, anything is possible. And I do expect him to respond after his not-so-great race performance back at Hockenheim. But before we end this video, let's of course look at the Constructors' standings. As at the previous race, Mercedes took the lead of the Constructors' Championship. But they only lead by 8 points from Ferrari, so it is very, very close. With Red Bull, of course, in a clear third place. But in the midfield, it is so close. Renault is still fourth, but Haas and Force India are now tied for fifth place. And that is definitely a battle to keep your eyes on. As McLaren and P7 will just continue to drop down because that car is not quick. Toro Rosso is still in 8th from Sauber in 9th, but Sauber eventually will pass them because the Sauber is faster. As Williams are definitely going to finish bottom down in 10th. Now after 3 very exciting Grand Prix, I think we're going to be disappointed in this race. Because if you have watched this Grand Prix before, you'll know that this race can be quite boring at times. And to my knowledge, we do not have a third DRS zone. So my advice is do not expect anything coming into this race in terms of excitement. We could get an absolutely crazy race from start to finish, or it could be very boring from start to finish. And hopefully this weekend is a crazy race. But anyway guys, that has been it for this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Don't forget guys, I will be back tomorrow evening with a live stream review of Practice 1 and Practice 2 for the Hungarian Grand Prix. And as well, don't forget to join the Chatter HDF1 Discord community. The link to that is down in the description. Comment down below what you thought of this video and comment down below what do you think is going to happen at this weekend's Hungarian Grand Prix. Please comment down below what you think about those topics. And until next time, it's been me, Chatter HD. Goodbye.